are you doing shoes? I can do my shoes, babe. Designing this jewelry for you. It's all handmade and it's all custom to you. So your dress color is your drop stone Ooh. in your necklace and your earring. Okay. Oh. So, oh, okay. yeah, see. Thank you. 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 Thank Your girls' is, uh, your girls is jewelry. Oh, wow. Let's see here. Let's see here. So hold your bag. If you sing too. Yeah. Hold on. This is down here. Okay, let's see. And I still have to. Fireflies one. Okay. Look at that. Your dress. 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 I'll be fine. Just fine. You think? Can you make it? Take it to make it? How cute! Soon. Come down to my ear. It looks so pretty on you! Oh, come on. Your train is. Yeah. Well, this is your something borrowed, something old, something blue. And something and when this day is over, it's yours to keep. Mama, you're But first, we're borrowing it. <laughs> so you have something borrowed. Um, we'll put it on. Oh, I've always wanted 
Just, we need to come and step over. That grandma jeans? Mm -hmm. Huh? It's fine. I love you. And it matches your dress so pretty. Thank you. Oh, oh, is right? Oh, is that right? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I guess I'm going to put that on, right? Okay, somebody help with her hair. Liz, just put your necklace on. She's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> you may be seated. Uh, friends and family, we're gathered together in the presence of God to witness the joining together of Brad and Janelle in marriage. And Janelle, you look beautiful. And Brad, well, doesn't Janelle look beautiful? <laughs> Before we get started today, I just want to remind you guys to soak in every moment of this. Cherish this time and remember it for the rest of your lives. Because today we get to celebrate God bringing together two people we love very much. It's crazy to think that you guys are here right now, especially considering how you met. And for those of you who don't know the story, I'll give you the brief rundown. They met at a wedding. Uh, they were in the wedding party and actually walked down the aisle together. Like, you guys shouldn't even be nervous. You've done this before. <laughs> I mean, not this, but pretty close. You were just a few feet further away. Um, which, by the way, any single groomsmen or bridesmaids, you never know. Like, it could happen today. Anyway, um, Janelle developed a huge crush on Brad when she met him. Because, I mean, look how good this guy looks. Of course she did. <laughs> but there was no a problem. Fault of her own. <laughs> there was a problem. Brad was with someone else. And of course, when Brad became available, he thought very highly of Janelle as well, except now Janelle was with someone else. Just didn't seem like it was ever going to work out for the two of them, until one day it did. The two of them were single, and they connected with one another and began a relationship that led them to today, your wedding day. The day where, as Jesus said in Matthew 19, you will be united to one another, and the two of you will become what? Together, Brad and Jill, Janelle, today you will become what you could never be apart from one another. Just think about that. You could never be apart from one another if it weren't for today. Two will become one. Will you please join me in prayer? Father God, you're amazing in, in every way. You know our every thought and, and our every action. So today we're gathered in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, to celebrate the union of Brad and Janelle. Father, we pray your blessing upon this ceremony and upon their lives. As they become husband and wife, may they do so not only in our presence, but in yours, with your grace and love surrounding them. We pray this through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right, I've got a couple questions for you guys. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you, Brad and Janelle, promise to live together after God's holy ordinance in the estate of matrimony? Do you promise to love, support, and encourage each other throughout your lives? Do you pledge yourself to one another so long as you both shall live? If so, will you answer together with God's help? We do. We do. 
And do you, everyone else that's here, Brad and Janelle's family and friends, promise to love, support, and encourage this couple as they are joined in marriage for as long as they both shall live? If so, will you all answer, we do? We do. You got some good support back there. <laughs> Parents of the bride and groom, will you please stand? Pop up. Do you promise to encourage to encourage this couple in their marriage? Yes. To help them build a strong and stable home for themselves and their family? If so, please say we do. We do. You may be seated. We all just made a promise. Friends and family together promise to love and support and encourage this couple standing before us. And that's what today is all about. It's about a promise. So now, Janelle, will you hand your flowers over to Candace, face Brad, and hold hands as I talk to you for just a couple moments about promises, which again is what today's all about. <laughs> today's about a promise, not a ceremony, not a dress, not beautiful bridesmaids and unruly groomsmen. <laughs> Today isn't even about you, Brad and Janelle, declaring your love for one another. You've already done that. Today is about a commitment. A vow. And at the heart of every relationship is a commitment. You get to choose today and every day for the rest of your lives to show one another who you are and what you value through this promise. And the incredible, intimidating, and powerful thing about it is that this promise in your life have the same expiration date. Now, just a heads up, being happily married doesn't mean the other person is always going to make you happy. That's not what you're committing to today. Uh, you guys already know this, though. Um, you each had some interesting things to say when I asked you, what do you dislike most about the other person? Now, I don't think a lot of people would say that's the best question to ask a couple that's about to commit their lives to one another, but it's fun for me, so I ran with it. Now, Brad, you're supposed to pretend like you don't have anything at first. Like, you're supposed to, like, think hard. But instead, you asked, how much time do you have? <laughs> And just so you know, Janelle will always plan everything to a T. The rest of your life will be filled with more organization and planning than you could ever dream of. That's just the way it's going to be. I'm learning it. Yeah. You're not yeah. <laughs> you guys can't argue at the altar. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> and Janelle, I, I hate to break it to you, but you're marrying someone who hates planning and will get mad when you actually plan things. I mean, that's just going to be fun for the two of you to figure out. One loves planning, one hates it. <laughs> Marriage, it's beautiful. You aren't always going to make each other happy. But that's not what you're committing to, and it's not what you're responsible for. However, what you are responsible for, what you are promising and pledging and committing and vowing to today, is to always be there for one another. To always have each other's back. For better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to become one. On this day, you are giving your word that the person you are standing across from can always count on this promise. And the Apostle Paul made it clear in his letter to the Ephesians what this promise looks like in our day to day. When he told husbands to love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Brad, your commitment is to sacrifice for Janelle, to protect her and care for her. <laughs> Lay down your life for her. <laughs> it's great timing. <laughs> hey! We're getting married up here! <laughs> Someone throw a rock. <laughs> Love you, babe. <laughs> Maybe fight Without for a her. hitch. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. <laughs> Someone throw a rock! <laughs> Janelle, in that same chapter, Paul told women to respect their husbands. Make sure that Brad can always count on you to support him and encourage him and respect him. Beyond that, if I could give the two of you any personal advice, it would be this. Care deeply. Marriage is not a competition, so show understanding. The second thing is to have fun. Be spontaneous and surprise one another. The third, since you won't do everything right, forgive one another. None of us are perfect. And lastly, never forget that the, the two of you are no longer the two of you. You are one. From this day forward, Brad and Janelle, you are a man and a woman of this promise to become one. 
you will age, you will laugh, you will worry, you will pray, you will binge watch stupid shows together, you will fight and make up, you'll go to Shasta and go boating and have a blast together, mm -hmm. you'll travel the world and settle down somewhere, you will have an incredible life together, and you will, I hope and pray, grow old and wrinkled and gray together. And what will remain is this promise. So with that, I want you to now, in front of God, in front of your family and friends, to make that promise by exchanging your vows of love and devotion. And this is important. These vows are made voluntarily, but they're, they're to be performed faithfully. Like we read in Numbers chapter 30, this is what the Lord has commanded. A man who makes a vow to the Lord or makes a pledge under oath must never break it. He must do exactly what he said he would do. Well, Brad and Janelle have chosen to first share vows that they wrote for one another. Brad, you're up first. Oh, thanks, man. You bet. <laughs> A little nervous with this up last minute. <laughs> Today I become your husband and can't wait to spend the rest of my life, my life with you. The past few years have been an amazing adventure full of great times. You came into my life when I least expected it and made me a better man since. I look forward to the joining of our families and starting our own. And I love you. <laughs> now, Brad, will you please repeat after me? Janelle. Janelle. I take you to be my wife. I take you to be my wife. From this time onward. From this time onward. To join with you. To join with you. And to share all that is to come. And to share all that is to come. To give and to receive. To give and to receive. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. To inspire and to respond. To inspire and respond. And in all our life together. And in all our life together. To be loyal to you. To be loyal to you. With all my being. With all my being. My whole life long. My whole life long. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be that long. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Janelle? It's your Mine are also last minute because I've been so busy and have been having these thoughts in my head, but I haven't had time to write them down. So I was going through my wallet to find or to get my checkbook ready and came across this note that I knew I had stashed in here long ago and just never gave it to you. So I found it the other night and I read it and it couldn't be more perfect for right now. I wrote it on 11-19-2018 and that was two years after dating you to the day. I just didn't give it to you. <laughs> Maybe it's just some time. Probably. Dear Bradley, <clears throat> I know that you feel like I could say these words to anyone in the past or the future and that they may not mean much, but I will say them anyway. I honestly have never met a man that has ever compared nor will to you. You are one in a million that I have been beyond blessed to find, let alone have had the absolute pleasure and honor to be called your girlfriend and friend. I really didn't think that there was a man out there for me that would ever treat me like I deserve to be treated. <laughs> You have restored my confidence in not only myself, but you have restored my belief that I would end up with the love of my life. I no longer question myself. I no longer second guess the loyalty a man could have for his woman. I no longer am scared or insecure about the way I should be viewed and treated. You are a true blessing from up above that came into my life just when I needed you the most. I will always be loyal, loving, respectful, and true to you for as long as you let me. Every day I count my blessings and thank God that I have you in my life. 
please always know that these words that leave this pen are true, honest, and from the bottom of my heart. I know you hate this kind of sappy stuff, <laughs> but you need to know how much I love you. Hmm. I'll those for you. Read on that one, bro. <laughs> you were supposed to read it. Let me know. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no kissing yet. Oh, I want to kiss him so no, bad. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not the ball, bro. <laughs> I wrote that I sent two him years, up for, four years ago. I sent James over for intel. He's too <laughs> young. I told him my like ten sentences. <laughs> Janelle, will you repeat after me? Yes. Brad. Brad. I take you to be my husband. I take you to be my husband. From this time onward. From this time onward. To join with you. To join with you. And to share all that is to come. And to share all that is to come. To give and to receive. To give and to receive. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. To inspire and to respond. To inspire and to respond. And in all our life together. And in all our life together. To be loyal to you. To be loyal to you. With all my being. With all my being. My whole life long. My whole life long. Now you've chosen to exchange rings to seal these vows that you've just made. Oh, I can't wait. James, for you had one job. You nailed Good it, man. Job. Great job. Because I, I hold these rings, I recognize <clears throat> that they're made of precious metal. With proper care, they will not only last, but retain their luster. Their beauty and value will continue to increase when you do that. But if you ignore them or take them for granted, they will fade and begin to deteriorate. Brad, your relationship with Janelle is much the same. Treat her with care and her love for you will grow. Ignore her and treat her poorly, her love will begin to fade. Brad, will you, will you take your ring and place it on Janelle's finger and repeat, repeat this promise after me? Janelle. Janelle. <laughs> With this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise to be your faithful, to be your faithful and loving husband and loving husband. With God as my witness, with God as my witness, I seal my promise. I seal my promise. Janelle, this ring is an unbroken circle. It does not go from point to point, and it has no ending. As often as either of you look at this ring, let it remind you of the commitment you made to one another today. Janelle, will you take your ring, place it on Brad's finger, yeah. and repeat this promise after me? Brad. Brad. With this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful. To be your faithful. And loving wife. And loving wife. With God as my witness. With God as my witness. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. At this time, Janelle has chosen to share some special vows for them as a family. Um, Wyatt, do you want to come on up here? Mm -hmm. No, Wyatt, Wyatt. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Come on. Hi, Wyatt. Hi. <laughs> Wyatt. Yes? <laughs> I am truly blessed to be gaining you as a son today. You look so handsome today, little dude. Thank you. <laughs> I promise to always be good to you and your dad for all of our days together. I love you very much and can't wait for all of our adventures to come. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Your daddy a hug. Good job, dude. Will you please join me? Please join me in prayer. Father God, we pray that your love will will be the source of Brad and Janelle's love for one another. Through times of joy or sorrow, happiness, tears, whatever it is, may they draw closer to each other and nearer to you. Father, give them patience and gentleness and perseverance and understanding. Father, protect their home from forces that would attempt to break it apart. God, we ask for health, for long life, for the fulfillment of their dreams. May their love continue through life and finally fill over into eternal life. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. 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 All right, we're almost there. That kiss has been waiting for a while. We're getting closer.
Now, Brad and Janelle, you have come before us and before God, and you've expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You've shown your love and affection for one another. You've made promises of faith and devotion, and have, and have sealed those promises Amen. by exchanging yeah. the rings on your finger. And now, by the authority that is given to me by the church of our great God, I pronounce that you are husband and wife. Brad, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Well, dear friends, it is my privilege to present to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Bradley and Janelle jo Josephson.
table. Go ahead and help yourself, family style. limitations have not passed for those. <laughs> and number two, Mark, I want you to like your son-in-law. So. <laughs> awesome. Listen, Bradley's going to be a really good husband. I know that because he's a really good friend. He's one of my most loyal and dependable friends. I've been calling this guy for the last 20 years because I'm not very mechanically inclined. <laughs> Anytime I've been over my head, Bradley answers day or night, weekend or weekday. This is true. This is true. Very, very true. true. Very true. Very it true. might be a week later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man. 
Bradley's been sanding, sanding and bonding his Camaro since we were 16. Oh my god. <laughs> Brad will give you the shirt off his back. Oh, yes, he uh, would. There's no doubt Bradley's that way because of his mom, Judy. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh. Judy fed the neighborhood growing up. Judy fed all of us. Judy was a beautiful woman. Yeah. And uh, Bradley has this Maybe. tough guy persona. He's not a tough guy. He's a big sweetie. <laughs> He's a softie. He is. <laughs> he is. Jail, you're getting a hell of a guy. He's a real sweetheart, and even though he acts like he's a tough guy, he's not. He's got he's the uh, he's one of the nicest guys I've ever been in my life. You made him better. Bradley was pretty cool before I, uh, before you met him, and uh, since he's been with you, you, you've really made him a better person. You made him whole. Number one, Mike, sorry, but Bradley hasn't missed a day of work in the last 20 years. <laughs> But Janelle's actually showed Brad that there's more than Contra Costa County in the world, and she actually has to yeah. see the world and taking vacations and taking care of himself. She cultured him. <laughs> She's also uh, made him eat like a normal person. He's not on meat and beer all the time. <laughs> But most importantly, she's domesticated a wild man. Yes. Yes. This guy here, this is not my best friend from growing up. My best friend had a mullet, he had a pink cast on both of his hands. It's 2010. He didn't wear a shirt for eight straight years. And she's got it looking awesome. Right now. All right, so I'm supposed to give some marriage advice while I'm up here. I've been married for 14 years to my beautiful wife. Right here. Let me give you a couple pieces of advice, Brad. First of all, learn how to do this. Yeah. <laughs> yes. learned it pretty good. Yes. When she asks you to take the garbage out, just say yes. <laughs> when she asks you to go to your in-laws and have dinner, just say yes. And when you worked all day and she wants you to go out with her friends, just say yes. <laughs> This does not need any further explanation. You're making deposits into the bank. One day you're going to need to make a withdrawal, and every time you say yes, that's a deposit. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Number two, never forget how much you guys like each other right now and how much you guys liked each other two years ago when you guys started this. Always chase each other. Always court each other. You guys are not boring people. You're fun now. Don't grow old and boring. Love each other. Don't be afraid to kiss. Don't be afraid to hold hands. Never forget the excitement that you guys had these last three years. Don't be old and boring. Nice. And number three, and this one's important, Brad. <laughs> listen. <laughs> you listen with your ears and not your mouth. <laughs> So guys like to fix right. things, right? That's right. Girls like Brad. to talk about their problems. They don't want you to fix it, Brad. Just smile and say yes. <laughs> and listen. So on uh, a serious note to end this, I've known Brad since 1995 and I've never seen him cry until today. Oh, oh come on, man. <laughs> And this is going to be a long, awesome course of things to have. Let's drink to it. Congratulations. Be happy. Bye. What's that? Oh, Uncle Mike. Oh, no. That was Uncle Mike. 
who unfortunately passed away last year. And that was the voicemail that Janelle received when Uncle Mike learned of the engagement. Salute! Yeah. Uncle Mike! I'll keep it short, you know, um, I've been with, Janelle's my very best friend, you know, we grew up in a very small family, very tight, we did everything together when we were kids, and she's my best friend, there's no way around it, and uh, over the years I had to watch her go through some pretty hard times and past relationships, you know, she had a really rough road, but she always just wanted to find the one that she could just love unconditionally, and the one that would love her unconditionally back. And uh, so we had many nights when the past jerks would uh, make her cry and not make her feel the way that she was meant to be felt, like a queen. And uh, along came Brad. And uh, when I met Brad, I, at first I didn't, you know, I was on the fence because, you know, we'll see, you know, and he was rough on the edges, but over the years, um, Brad is one of a kind, as James said. He's <clears throat> he's a very special person, and all my life I've wanted a brother, and I couldn't be happier to have gained Brad as my brother. So I wish you nothing but the best. I wish you a long, happy marriage, and I know you're going to take care of my big little sister, and I love you both. <laughs> Thank you.